How's it going guys? It's Chloe and the book we're here to talk about today is On Fire which is a Teen Wolf novel by Nancy Hoda. This book was published on the 1st of June in 2012. It has 245 pages. Nancy is a big animal lover and that's why I think she wanted to write this book. I bought this book off of Amazon for about £8 and I will put the link in the description if you guys want to check that out. I bought this book because I am a big fan of Teen Wolf and I also own a Teen Wolf fan page on Facebook and I also will put the link down below too. For those who don't know, Teen Wolf is an American television series developed by Jeff Davis for MTV. Okay. Want to join in? You're a Teen Wolf fan, ain't ya? Yeah. yeah. Which is loosely based on the 1985 film. Teen Wolf premiered on the 5th of June in 2011 following the MTV Movie Awards. Teen Wolf has everything. Horror, drama, comedy, action, romance, all in one. They are also supernatural creatures. Teen Wolf is about a boy called Scott McCall who is a social outcast in high school. Living in a town of Bacon Hills where wolves haven't made an appearance in almost 60 years. Scott's life changes when he's bitten by a werewolf and he becomes one himself. Getting the bite helped him reach his goals but however the bite also made his life harder than he ever thought possible. Who wouldn't want enhanced vision and extra strength? But when your girlfriend family hunts your kind and can easily tell you're the one of the monsters that they're trying to rid the world of. Not good. This book takes place between the first and second seasons, but mostly the first. It's endless cliffhanger after cliffhanger, leaving you at the edge of your seats. So you can't stop reading. This book bounces back and forth between six years ago. The main plot is all the characters trying to figure out where Jackson has disappeared to, but near the end that turns into like a kind of subplot. You will find yourself bursting out laughing at Stiles, Scott's loyal best friend. He knows all about Scott being a werewolf and he tries to help. But the only down thing is, Styles' dad is the sheriff in town. And one wrong word to his dad and Scott is busted. You will find yourself falling in love with Styles' witty sense of humour and clumsiness. Then there is Derek, another werewolf, but he was born a werewolf. This book is mostly in his point of view and it shows him when he was younger and also links all the stories together so it's about Scott, Styles, and Derek and bits and pieces that we wouldn't think of. So when Derek was younger he was in love with this woman who was a werewolf hunter and she uses him and that's all I'm going to say about that. I give this book 4 out of 5. I like the fact that it's like the TV series and that it's told in multiple points of view as you get to know each character's thoughts. But there are some changes from the TV series which I really enjoyed because you never know what's going to happen next and it always keeps you guessing. This book does help explain the hate relationship between Derek and Kate Argent. So that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell to get notifications for my latest videos. See over there? That's, that's square. Click on it. YouTube is saying this video is best for you. So, go click it. Go!